You guys, I promise, when I get these brakes on the Impala and it's mobile and driving again, I will get out a video on this. I just want to get that running and going again because I hate having it down because I want to be driving it, even though it's ugly. So the next thing on that is going to be installing this. I already assembled it, painted that, assembled it all, adjusted it. Um, I adjusted it as far back in there as I could and I put some uh, grease on the end of the little uh, ball push pin and put this on there and it barely was barely making contact with this so I'm hoping that that's a good enough to where it doesn't drag so but this is the proportioning valve for disc drum and at least that's what I ordered I don't know how to tell if it is or not but that's what it is with the small booster and then a wiring plug and then a new clevis and pin for this so and then these this is a brake line kit from cpp it is just for switching from stock four wheel drums to this setup right here so this is like the line that goes from here basically to the front left and then this is front right and the one that's supposed to go to the distribution block but i don't know where that's at exactly and i'm hoping that's all there first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go pull off the old master cylinder look underneath the dash and see what we have down there and then take it off well there's no way i was gonna be able to get that bracket undone getting past the steering wheel and the seat so i just took the front seat out and I didn't realize how many bolts there were. This actually has two here, two here. This one, that head snapped off instantly. Uh, one here and one there. So now I'm going to, ugh, nasty. I'm gonna lay my little tarp down. I'm gonna unclip the uh, master cylinder rod from the pedal now that I can probably access it and uh, that way I can pull the master cylinder out through the engine bay. This is what I had to then do. I couldn't really see it. Hold on. So it just clips in like like that it all the way on you need to pry this off and push that pin out so now nothing's holding that in i can go and take that out she's out wasn't too bad so there's four bolts only two hold this on i have to look under there and see the other two bolts are four but like the two upper ones were not attaching to this but this has a place for four so this will use all four so I figured since I have this out, I'm going to uh, kind of use this as a gauge for setting up how long I need to uh, how long I need to make this this rod right here. That way, when I put it in, I am somewhere in the ballpark, and then uh, I won't be doing a lot of back and forth work. So yeah, that'll be pretty easy there's a lot of adjustment in here there's a lot of adjustment in this there's adjustment in this it's barely even in there so i don't think it'll be too much of a problem i think this will take two people to get it on though because it's awkward and all these studs are like solid oh, that one's a little loose except for that one's really loose so i think when i go to Put it in there, I might have to have someone in there holding those on the inside. But I just want to get this part done because it's supposed to be super hot here in the next day or so. So I'm just going to keep picking on a little bit here and there after work and then hopefully that'll lessen what I have to do on the weekend. Uh oh, what's that? Uh 
Uh oh, I hope that's not there the whole time. I'll check it out. If it is, I'm sorry. Next thing we gotta do is pull these brake lines out. Factory one, this is the single line that goes to the master cylinder. Goes down to a junction block right there. One splits to there, one goes to the other side. <clears throat> Comes over to this junction block. One goes to this wheel and the rest go to the back. So that junction block is gonna stay because we use it from the back, from there back. But uh, this line and all the other lines are gonna go. And then the worst part I think is gonna be feeding the new lines all underneath there. It looks a little tight. I don't know if there's little brackets holding them on under there, but I'm gonna break it here and there and then try to yank it out. And if it doesn't come out, then I know then there's something to hold it in the center. That was a total pain. You can always tell which <laughs> which uh, fingers break on your gloves. Anyways, new brake lines are gonna have to go in with way more finesse and way more careful because I didn't care about that one. So I bent the crap out of it to get out of there and I broke it. I broke the end off because I had another bracket. So <sighs> gotta get the new lines ready. They're supposed to be pre-bent, but they were also kind of folded in half in the packaging. So, yeah, I don't know. I am going to uh, make sure that all the caps are on. I'm going to tape them because I don't want to be feeding them through where they go and then have any crap end up in the line. So I'm going to get the other caps. I think some fell out in the bag. Yeah, right there. And then, uh, oh, look at that. Actually, the bracketry for it. And a union. I need one of those unions for the rear to the front. So, anyways, tape these up and then I'm going to start feeding these through very delicately and then I'll let you know how that goes. All right, they are roughly in. And I mean rough. I don't know if they're gonna need to be flipped on this side. I have a feeling they have to come underneath this. So I'm gonna hold the master cylinder up there and I... Yeah, dang it. And then, uh... There's clips on the frame. I'll show you what they look like. Uh, here's some new clips. So there's some of these, and these gotta hold the lines down there. Right now, I guess what's down there is a factory single one. So, these gotta go in there, they hold a double line. That's gonna be really tricky. <sighs> they look crappy. But I think after I massage these for a little while, here, let me show you down here. So, the clip is right here and right there and these are supposed to sit nice and tucked and flush right there so I got a lot of work to do it's gonna take a lot of little tweaking and bending they come in the generic shape but you kind of have to unbend it to get it to go cradle underneath there and then everything is so freaking nasty under here I'm seriously thinking about ditching this style of factory power steering and going to the different style where you don't have the ram 
we'll see. I'm sure we clean things up. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. So, there that is clamped. <clears throat> and then there's that one clamped. And it rides pretty much like factory. So, um, the factory clip looks like this. And it just pushes through a hole in the frame. Um, I just ended up finding a quarter 20 stainless bolt and uh, I put a lock nut and a washer on the back you can see you can get to it from this access hole right there basically you can just go like that to the back of it so I found it was this is like the best place to start from my inexperience clamping it to this spot first where you know the bends are supposed to be so I clamped it here, I clamped it there now, and then I checked this spot to make sure it's good. And I think I'm good to go to where all I have to do now is just work from that spot. And then uh, same with the other side. So I think I'm actually done down here. And I feel like that might've been the worst part, but I don't want to say that yet. But. That's how I did it. Yeah, I'm old, I can't see unless I have my glasses up close, so. That's how I did it. All right, that side's connected. And the, uh, the factory fitting, I, I had the proper wrench and I couldn't even get it off the proper wrench and I had to use vice grips the whole way, which meant I had to use the vice grips the whole way back on because I don't want to replace that rear line right now, so. Anyways, that's all done. And we had to set the... This is just loosely bolted in here right now. Um, because I wanna get the lines figured out first. Basically I wanna get the lines figured out and then um, get some fluid in here and get it start draining before I start cinching this up and adjusting. Lines are hooked up and they do not hit anything. I just have this final line to go right here to this wheel. That'll connect right there. And hopefully it'll reach better than the other side because the other side was a pain. So yeah, last line. And then I can start uh, letting some fluid to start gravity feeding through. All right, final brake line's done. Got fluid in there, gonna let it gravity bleed. And then uh, after a while, I'll come in with the power bleeder, put away. We'll hook up the, uh, the cap, strap it down and pump it full of pressure and uh, go to each corner. This hubcap's pretty rough. That's the bent one. But I took one that looked like that. I did a little polishing on it. And now it looks like that. So I'm gonna do a little more polishing and see if I can get a nice set. These aren't perfect, but to me, they're good driver quality. So check it out. Some of them came out better than the others, but I'm happy. Way better. Those will get me by until I get some wheels. One quick thing to note before I call this master cylinder installed is on the pedal. Let me see if I can get it light for you there are two notches see that there's two holes there's an upper hole and a lower hole so the upper hole is what's used for manual brakes 
When you switch to power brakes, you need to switch it to that lower hole and hook it up to the lower hole for the leverage right there. So just remember that. Don't just put it back up to the manual. You'll get a weird throw angle if you do anyways. So if you put it on, you think it feels weird, like the way that's binding or something, go to this bottom hole where it's supposed to be. So just gotta put a pin or a bolt through there and I'll call that good. Another thing to note is that this is almost completely lengthened out. Like there can't be any more adjustment in this. Like I've got it like maxed out and it just fits. So hopefully it doesn't cause any problems and that that'll work just fine. But uh, just know that there's not much play on the length of these rods in this kit. All that's left to do is use my power bleeder and bleed it and then drive it. So I'm gonna call it right here on this one, but stay tuned. I have a good announcement on this thing on the very next video, which I'll be shooting in a couple days. So it should not be far behind. Check back in.